So we're excited to be here with you, Sheila. We know that you believe in the idea of doing good and doing well, which is a value that we share, and that you inspire success in others. Uh, when we heard about your nonprofit organization, we were just so inspired that we had to do something. So we appreciate the fact that you've accepted our invitation to go out to Southside Elementary School a little bit later to give students the music lesson of a lifetime, the opportunity to rock out with a legend. But we're not gonna stop there. We'd like to present to you today a $5,000 donation to your foundation. We hope that it only accelerates your mission of helping the children you love rise and thrive. Cricket is proud to honor you your legacy of connecting community through music, art, and technology. So thank you. I'm gonna hand this to you. Okay, Let's. I, I want you to sit here with your fabulous self. So just for the record, am I the only one that got up this morning like this? <laughs> I was in the shower like this. I, I got drumsticks last night. I fought for a drumstick. I, I saw one fall, I'm like, I have to have it. I just wanna have a quick conversation with you. Obviously you could tell I was rocking out to the glamorous life because my voice is gone a little bit. I, I took it all the way, like I was, channeling Sheila last night. What a performance last night. Thank you for sharing that with us. Everybody enjoyed? It's on. One, two. All right, there it is. Yes, right. absolutely. Well, thank, first I want to say thank you for the award and uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Um, anytime being honored for anything. So um, I, I really appreciate it and thank you for the, the check for our foundation. Um, very inspiring, we try to continue to uh, put music and arts back in the schools, it's very important. There's so many uh, schools that don't have music and arts, so that's what we're trying to do, is put music and arts back in the schools, as well as uh, possibly subsidizing some of the teachers' pay if their salary has been cut, and also using local musicians within the city. Um, like, perhaps if we came to Miami, we would say elevate Miami or any place here. Um, then we would help the local musicians also encourage them to come and be residents sure. for you know, a couple of months or so after schools to help the kids and assist the teachers. So awesome. thank you very much. And thank you all for being here. Absolutely. This is really awesome. Thanks. Awesome. We were you know, doing a poll earlier about what's the one music experience people were you know, most looking forward to. We got different, um, some feedback, but everyone's been really looking forward to this luncheon. So thanks for joining with us. I asked Sheila, as I, you know, I'm gonna be very candid. We're talking and they've just been so amazing to work with in a music capacity. And I said, do you mind coming one day earlier and maybe rocking out with us at the PIA Awards? And they were like, absolutely. So we changed the flights and made that happen and it worked out perfect last night. So Thank let's you, just yeah. dive in, talk about obviously your long music lineage and just being a rock star since the, the age of three, instruments in hand at the age of three. It's been 40 years now. How have you really continued to be so resilient and so um, you know, at, at the forefront of, um, of music and, and the music industry as a whole? Well, definitely. I mean, growing up listening to my dad play Pete Escovito, in, which he still plays, we all play together a lot. Um, just watching him play, he brought Latin jazz music into the household. That's what he listened to. Um, that's what he played. Um, but also there was a, he brought in other types of music as well, just Latin jazz, jazz, Motown, I mean, whatever music that was on the radio. We born and raised in Oakland, California, so being there from that city is pretty awesome because you have bands. Back then it was nothing but bands coming sure. from the Bay Area. It was Grateful Dead, Santana, uh, Tower Power, Pointer Sisters, Sly and Family Stone. The list goes on and on. So being around that music and we would go to the rehearsals and hang out. I was just around music constantly and then at one point my dad said, you know, he wanted me to learn how to play violin as well. So classical music I love and I think just being in this business you have to, you know, really um, really go out and, and try different types of music and figure out what your passion is and what you want to do. And because I love to play music, that is my passion, uh, one of them. Um, 
I'm able to play with all kind of different artists and I really, really enjoy it, so. So, 40 years in music and now you've got this brand new album, Icon. It's been a minute since you put out a new album, a new record, but what was really the inspirational spark behind that? Uh, I started writing my autobiography and uh, as I was writing it, I realized that there were some stories that needed to be a song as well as there were some songs that I had written that I thought should be in the book. Sure. Um, so that's what's inspired me to do the record. I didn't realize that it had been, you know, 12, 13 years since I've done a record. Uh, I've been so busy that I just thought it was maybe four years or so. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I'm really excited. It's, it's been a, um, a great process in doing the record and went back to Oakland, California. Uh, my band is, most of them are from the Bay Area, so we just went into the studio and recorded live and and had a great time. Awesome. All right, so this book, I've been hearing about it. I know you've been working on it. It comes out in September. Is that right? Yes. yes. Talk to me about everything that's going on with this book and kind of what your inspiration was for writing it. Uh, the book comes out in September. It's coming out in Simon & Schuster. And I, actually, I think you can, you can pre-order it now. Uh, Beat of My Own Drum is what it's called. And I just talk about the stories and the growing up and my testimony and how it's been being an artist and a musician and the music industry as well as playing an instrument that is mostly done by male. And um, it just so happened that my dad is a percussionist is why I started playing and the gift that has been given me, so. But the drums, I feel like, is you know, definitely something really special to pick instrument-wise, especially for a woman. So why the drums? I mean, you really, I feel like I was watching you last night, you really zone out when you're playing those drums. It seems like, I feel like, I see you looking at me, but you're in another world when you're playing those drums. Why the drums? But because of my dad. Um, my dad played, and, and I know that God has given me a gift, and it's just, you know, it's just something that's been in me. I mean, I, I watched my dad play most of my life, so at 15 years old, I, uh, I, uh, his percussion player got sick, and I decided, can, I wanted to ask my dad, could I play, and that one performance uh, I just said this was it. This was the most inspiring spiritual moment in my life. And I decided right then, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go out on tour. And two weeks later, I went out. We flew to Bogota, Colombia. And that was the beginning of my career. In Bogota? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Seriously? Icon right here having lunch with us. Are you guys? This is amazing. Amazing. Okay, so as we kind of talk about, you know, as we transition through the four decades of music and you touring all around the world with so many different, you know, lineage of artists that you've worked with is in, a, in abundance. Is there one iconic moment that stands out for you when you say, you know, especially a lot of times, especially in our adolescence, especially becoming a musician very early in life, that you're not sure as you're kind of going through the motions? Is there one particular iconic moment musically where you've said, okay, I'm supposed to be doing this. This is what I was born to do. Yeah, that was the show with my dad at 15. At 15? Uh, yeah, at 15 we were playing in front of 3,000 people in San Francisco. And um, it was just a moment I just didn't realize how much I had learned by watching him and, and uh, listening to him. And uh, it ended up, you know, Pops turned to me and he said, I want you to take a solo, you know? And I just went, okay. I closed my eyes, I started playing. And it was almost like an out-of-body experience and I felt like, uh, I wasn't even there, like you say, you see me in a zone. I just started playing, and when I opened my eyes, I didn't even know that anyone was in the room. I had no idea I was playing in front of people. I didn't know where I went. I just know there was a moment of just something I had never felt before, and I knew that that's when I said, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Exactly. Yeah. So last night, how many people took a, a selfie with Sheila? Because she got into the crowd, and I feel like it was a selfie takeover. I was looking at at Twitter and, and, and Instagram, and I just, looking at the feed and, you know, the hashtag is fantasize14, and everybody had a selfie with Sheila, it feels like. How many people took a selfie with, in the Congo? Yes, amazing, That's right? That's it? <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll it do another one. It should have been the whole room. I know. Right? We, maybe we could do, like, try to top the Oscar selfie and do a group <laughs> room, ballroom <laughs> selfie. What do you think? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how we would get that done, but we could try. We <laughs> Everyone could try. would have to leave their food right now. <laughs> All right, so the essence of being a Latina to you, what does that mean to you? Uh, well, as of the other day, it was menudo enchiladas. I was sitting having lunch. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had, you know, I have to talk about that. I haven't had menudo in so long, and I 
talk to people about Menudo and people, they're like, isn't that a band? I was like, well, yeah, but <laughs> it's also a food that I used to eat a long time ago and I miss it. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's really strange. Growing up, my dad being Mexican, we didn't speak Spanish in the house at all. Uh, he spoke to his father, but um, his parents had split up when they were younger. My dad was left for a while in an orphanage. And so his life, his upbringing was different, but that's why he turned to music and arts. Sure. Um, but being Mexican, it was like Latin music in the house all the time. Mom's, who's, my mom is Creole, but she made rice and beans. That's all we had was rice and beans and tortillas. And, uh, you know, and then my, my family, you know, was just, just, Latin means family. Latin means we love each other. Latin means you, you love your parents, you hold on to them. You, you know, you, it's, just, it's so empowering to have a family. And sure. a lot of people don't understand that. It's like... Yeah, it's awesome. It's... And I'm, I'm truly blessed and honored to really, not even honored, but blessed and just overwhelmed that my mother and father still love each other. They're still married and it's, it'll be 58 years in October. Wow. And wow, that's, that's, that's that amazing. In itself, yeah. now that's inspiring. Now that's inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it really is. So, I mean, just being Latin, it's, it's all of the above. It's real, it is. I mean, our family gatherings with the family, we put on music or we play music and we just dance. It's yeah. about the energy, it's the excitement, the fire, the food, family, loving each other. Yeah. It really is. It is. So last night you mentioned, we were all floored, by the way. She asked her age. I don't know how it's possible that this woman is 57. I'll be 57. Be 50, I'll be 57. So what is the beauty secret? We have a lot of Latinas in the room. They want to know. What? I got, I said, I'm going to ask Sheila E. some questions. What's the number one thing you want me to ask? What is the beauty secret? We want to know. What's the secret? Is it coconut oil? Is it, what is it? I it's mean, you look amazing. You, make, you look amazing. It's being Latin. It's the jeans, baby. <laughs> It's the jeans that can't give away when you, Usually they say black don't crack and then you say brown sticks around. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So Sheila, what's next? If everybody in this room who's so social media savvy, this is the Latin Trends event of the year. This is where it's at. In the entire country, Hispanicize is what sets the trends in music, in film, in social media, in marketing, in PR. So, if you wanted everybody in this room, this is self-promotion at its finest right here. You've got the album coming out, Icon. I mean, excuse me, it's already out. Last week. You've got the book, the album's out, everybody, as of last week. You've got the book coming out in September. What's the message, the, the one message that you really want to convey about your music, where people can find it, what's next for you, touring? Let's talk about it. Um, well, sh my Twitter is Sheila E. Drummer. Fan page for Facebook is Sheila E. Uh, Instagram is uh, Sheila E. Drummer. And anytime you can, you know, just tweet about the new record if you get it, those singles, Mona Lisa. Um, you know, I encourage you to do so if you'd like, if you like it, and just, you know, spread the word. I mean, that's what it's about, social media is being a part of the sure. social media. Uh, it's a different way for me to do uh, releasing and talking about a record at, as to me, you guys are now our record company, you are now our television station, you are now the newspaper and the magazines I mean, uh, it's totally different the music industry has changed very much so and we rely on social media to spread the word so um, I thank you for having me here to be able to speak about it and uh, we're actually going out on tour um, we're going to do the states and we're going back to Europe and then we'll do Japan um, but there's a lot going on. There's a lot of projects that we're doing, and um, I just thank you for, for my, supporting my career thus far. Um, every time I get a chance to play or do something, it feels like it's the very first time. My love, <laughs> and it's so hard. I get emotional, and it's so crazy. This is the part about age you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> but I get emotional because I really am passionate about what I do. And music means so much to me. It really, really does. And it's, sometimes it's hard to talk about it without getting emotional because it's everything to me. Sure. It's my water. It's my food. It's my life. It's my breath. It's my heartbeat. And that, 
just keeps me going every single day that I'm able to share my music or share something about music or bless somebody in a way that they would not even... I get blessed by just being able to talk to people. So there's much to say and much to do. I'm just beginning. Every day I say, man, thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you, yeah. you know, yeah. really. Yeah. Awesome. And that, that part of me, you know, a lot of people don't know, but that it, this is the, the time that you would get to know this because I don't a lot of times get to talk to a lot of people. But that, just to let you know, that's really how much I love music. It's, it's emotional to me. It's my life. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Amazing. No crying. No crying. Seriously, we got, we got the, the partners over here. We got to keep it, you know. <laughs> Okay, so tonight, actually, we have another little mini surprise. So Sheila has decided, because, you know, everybody lo loves to Spanicize. They come and they never want to leave, I feel like, right? No. We, we you know, we had the opportunity because she's going to be doing some other stuff throughout the week. She's going to um, the school very shortly, do a little drum session with the kids. I think that's so amazing. Um, she's actually also going to be making an appearance tonight at our closing music bash. Yes. So, no performance, but... Chill out, enjoy the vibes, enjoy Miami a little bit. So many artists come and, you know, they do all these things with us, the awards, the performance, they don't have a chance to really enjoy, so. We just want you to come and enjoy tonight. All right? All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I will. Okay, cool. So Thank in, you very much for having me. Though. Absolutely. Tonight, Imperia. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. 